People offer her roles for shit all the time. She lit, you feel me? So when she she gonna she gonna just tell me, hey, look, like, do you phone want me to do this? And luckily she's already rich enough to the point she got money to the point where Keisha will say no. Mm. She know our relationship is worth, you know what I'm saying, a lot. So she will say no. What is it worth? Give me a number. Uh, our relationship is yeah. priceless. Now what she gonna say, yeah, it's a sex scene. It's power. I mean, you you might be lot we seen La La do it. Yeah, for sure. We seen La La do it. For sure. Give me a number. What you saying? Go ahead, babe. Do that sex scene. I don't get that deep into the number. She she'll just be like, it's a lot. She she know what a lot mean to me. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you suffer from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like, every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. What's good, dog? How you doing? I'm good, bro. You it's looking good, man. Come on, man. working, bro. You come in like, you ready to talk? You ready to get into it? Yeah, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Yo, what's poppin'? Mr. J Hill, J Hill Podcast. We in the building, man. Our special guest, Coco Van Gogh. Yes, sir. Jay. Yo, um, we've been trying to uh, sit down and do this for a minute. For a minute, for like six six months. Yeah, six months, bro. You looking good, man. You coming here, you got to drip man. up. You know what I'm saying? Came I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. You, you, on, you on rapper mode right now? At the moment, yeah, for sure. Ooh. I'm in rapper mode right now. When do you choose when and when not to be in rapper mode? Like, sometimes I be in, like, rapper mode, and sometimes I be in, like, bummy, let's get this money mode. Like, let's get it in the mud. We in the mud. Nigga might have the same fit on, like, two, three days. I was just, so I was just about to ask you that question. I just seen a uh, picture of uh, of uh, Ocho Cinco. And he yeah. was saying that uh, he had his, he wore his, his outfit for, like, three days. He was like, it costs a lot. So, people going to get this. They going to get the wear out of shit, this. Shit, it was shit. What's the longest you think you wore outfit? Longest, yeah, a fit, yeah, like a week. Really and it wasn't even an expensive fit, it ain't even happy. Yeah. It was just like, I'm finna get up and get this bag every day. Nah, facts. So, hoodie, sweats. I think, wait, you took a shower though, yeah, you bro. Literally, I take a shower, put like. Put the sweats that that thing like I'm out there getting dirty or some shit. I'm in the whip. You know? I mean, you better than me. I think I probably did a good. B Simone ain't got shit on me. I'm just saying, like I probably did. I probably did a good, a good old, a good what? Probably like. What you saying? No shower? Yeah. What you What you mean? I probably, I gotta take a shower every day. Like, it probably was like three days. No shower? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I probably didn't that did that before. Easy, probably easy three days. But this was like back, like way yeah. back. Though. No, like, for sure. This like, but for sure. ever since I had my own shit though, my own crib, I'm yeah. taking a shower every day, maybe two. Oh wait, two so you hours. wasn't a so you wasn't taking a shower because you ain't had no shower to take a shower. I'm, I'm saying I'm at my mom's crib and shit. I'm trying to move up out that. So we trying to. I'm hustling like I so. I'm, if I'm staying in the whip, I'm staying in the whip because I ain't trying to. You feel me? I'm trying to get some. I'm trying to get something going. So. So you was taking a shower? You wasn't taking a shower because you were at your mom's crib or just because you were trying to get something going? No, I was yeah. trying to get something going. So like I used to, like so when I had, I had went to uh, D.C., mm -hmm. I was like, well, really, I was in Maryland. Mm -hmm. And shit, I'm on the road. So shit, the drive from Maryland, from Atlanta, that shit used like to take 12. me like a long ass time. So of course that night I'm not taking a shower because mm -hmm. I'm on the road. And then the next right. day I'm going to, you know, scam and shit. So... No, fuck. We in the store all day, then shit, nigga ain't, you know what I'm saying? If I bust down, okay, you know you stingy, with the, you know, all scammers is get stingy. So, I got, a little, I got my little cash, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm like, should I get a hotel? Nah, I'm just going to thug it in the way. Okay, yeah, yeah, nah, facts. I feel like scammers are the, the like, the, the... Old scammers, though. We ain't talking about the new scammers. The new scammers, oh, right. they spending that shit. Yeah, I'm anything. about to say, because I feel like scammers are yeah. backwards, though. They ain't about to get that homie shit. They ain't about to get no hotel. They ain't getting nothing that they need to get that's going to take care of them. But when the hoes come through, for sure. Oh, they going crazy. For you, sure. Bro. For sure. Scammers is fucking the game up. Look, I'm looking at you, nigga. Scammers is messing the game all the way up, bro. They got the game for they thinking that niggas is going to take on trips and get them all this expensive shit. Like, I just seen a nigga, I think there's a scammer get a girl a bag. He ain't going to buy his mama nothing. 
For sure, but shit. <laughs> Nigga might do that because, like, yeah, think about it. Like, when you a scammer, right? Most likely you a scammer because you don't know how to trap. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Or you done trapped and that shit just not enough bread for you. Because mm. every every trapper don't make money. It's some mm. trappers that make money, some trappers that don't make money. So you're looking on Instagram at the girls that you want to fuck. And then you finally get you some paper. It's a, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's all in the Bro, game plan. Them niggas' priorities fucked up anyway. So they like, well, mom straight. They mm. mom probably straight. They scamming. Of course they ain't buying their mama. They mama probably good. Most scammers, they mama should be rich. Mm. All right, let's get into the interview, man. How about we right. to get too deep in that? No, no, no. We can get into it. Let's get into it. What, what, right, what? So I'm going um, so I'm, I'm, um, to say a couple statements, right? Mm-hmm. One, two word statements, mm-hmm. or just blanket statements. Mm-hmm. And I need to get your first thought on it, or f- series of thoughts, all right? Okay, cool. All right, bet. Let me uh, put my... Let's see. Let's see what I, let's see what I came up with. I don't even know what, what I came up with. What you finna pull out the phone? Man? I don't even know. All right, so... Hmm... <clears throat> My first statement is, or word is, iPhone. Jude. That's it? You don't want to go into it? Jude, rich, it? scam, money. That's it. Started my career, my life. All right, bet. Mm-hmm. So what about sauce all on me? See, <laughs> that's what I think about. Right here. That's what you think about? Yeah, money. Yeah, made a lot of money on this off this. Okay. Um, sure. One bottle at the section, five niggas. Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, Atlanta. Atlanta. All right, okay, okay, okay. Broke ass nigga. Broke ass niggas. Lame ass nigga. Whack ass nigga. Shrimp ass nigga. Damn. Cap ass nigga. That's harsh. Whole ass nigga. Bitch ass nigga. What the fuck? Because that shit make me irk me when I see that. I've I been in the nigga section and I'm like, damn, y'all niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, then y'all fresh as fuck. The designer can't be real. Because y'all too fresh. Like, come on. This might be true. This is, this is them Balenci boots was a stack supposed to be. You can't get a Moet shrimp. But wait, the Moet is more, ex- more expensive than I don't even know. It's, it's the, uh, I think Moet, it? how much Moet is? Like five, like 300 in the club? Like 350 maybe? Yeah, like 350. Yeah. But I just feel like that's the bottle. You, if you flexing, that's the bottle. You got the glow. Okay. That's the bottle you got to have. Okay. But if you can't get a Moet or at least pay a one. What, what, what the Bel Air? Bel Air like 175 or something? Uh, damn, I feel like I should. I, well, I should know, right? You should not. You, sh- you should know if they give you shit. No, <laughs> I'm like shit, like damn, should I know? No, no uh, I think I, it's like one seventy five though for that for, okay. for a black bottle in that in that bitch. So. All right, all right. So strip club, love it, love it, love everything about it. Okay, being faithful. That's me. That's me, coach. <laughs> Okay, okay. You're making this a little easy for me. Um, Keisha. Nah, because I was in the cuss. I was like, that's my bitch. Yeah, I mean, say whatever. Whatever comes to ah, mind. Whatever comes to your my mind. My wife. It's my heart, right? That's my life. That's my, that's everything. Okay. All right, so you got to rank these three things from great from the greatest to least. Okay. Right? So, okay. Love, mm-hmm. loyalty, respect. What has to come first, and then love, we'll loyalty, respect. Mm-hmm. What have to come first? Mm-hmm. Love, loyalty, respect. Respect. Got to come first. Yeah, because wow. if because if you respect me, anything else I can mold that we can have. That's that's cool. Mm. If you respect me, because you ain't gonna cheat on me, because you respect me. Mm. You ain't gonna talk to me any type of way, because you respect me. Love. Bro, you know how that is. If you looking good, your haircut beaming one day, and a girl, you give a girl some good dick, they love you. Love everybody. They roll off the tongue. I can make anybody love me. You know what I'm saying? But the respect, I can't make any girl respect me, though. Okay, so what's number two? What? Out of, out of what? Off the love, love, loyalty, loyalty respect. Loyalty. Because mm. the love, easy. Love, that. that's like love ain't even like, 
it ain't even like hard no more. Love is just like whatever. Like, like I told you, you can fuck a bitch and they gonna love you. Or, you know what I'm saying? You can. Everybody saying I love you. It's to the point where like you can meet a nigga and that nigga on the camera crew and you make that nigga a hundred dollars. Then I love you, bro. Like everybody love you these days. Love is just like a word. Niggas just throwing around. But that loyalty shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? You have my back when we together, but I know you real if you have my back when I ain't around you. You mm. know what I mean? That's a fact. That's character. Yeah. What you do so, when nobody looking. Exactly. So the <clears throat> respect and the loyalty, that's some shit. That's different. Like, everybody ain't going to have that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so respect, loyalty, then love for you. Then love. Yeah, because love just like, you know. No, nah, it's fact. It's crazy because I um, I think I said that at first, too. Like, uh, respect, loyalty, love. Yeah. But, um... It's your answer, so it ain't no right or wrong answer. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So let's get into this interview, man. How you doing, man? What's going on, bro? I'm good, you man. You said you want to rap a mode right now? Yeah, I'm going to drop me a tape on uh, January the goddamn 13th. What gets you in that bag, though? Like, what makes you say, all right, I'm going to go from hustling and grinding mm -hmm. to I want to do this music thing? Shit with the music, like, I do that shit anyway. Like, when I be at the crib, I got to studio at my crib. Mm -hmm. So... I might just be on some chill shit, and I might just record five songs. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But uh, recently, like, what happened was I was in L.A., and I was chilling at the crib, you know, because we got a crib in L.A. now, too. And we chilling and shit, and then I'm like, I seen Art and B was, um, they got something called, you know, well, they been had trench work. Mm -hmm. They been had that, but <clears throat> I seen that they working with artists and shit or whatever, right? So I'm like, damn, okay, this look cool, you know what I'm saying? So I was just like, you know me, I just like, if I feel some shit, I'm just going to call you. Like, what's up? Like, bro, what you got going on? And. They picked up the phone quick. Yeah, let's get back in. I'm like, all right, bet. So when I got back to Atlanta, I pulled up, and I seen what he was doing over there, and I was like, I remember the vibe, the vibe. Because I don't really click with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. But the vibe with them is, like, real, like, I'm learning shit. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because, you know, they, like, super multi, they multi-platinum. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just listening to shit they be saying and shit. And then, um, you know, I just got out my situation. I ain't been signed in, like, a year or two, two years, two years, two and a half years. I ain't been signed or whatever, so. I was like, shit, you know what? I might just, you know, and I can record as much as I want over here. They get they, The situation just fit for me to be rapping right now, too, because, you mm -hmm. know, I can go get my money, and then now I got new management and shit, too. You know what I'm saying? I got nine, and, you know, I always got Julian always with me. So it's like, it's just making everything starting to click now. So okay. I'm like, you know, let me just go ahead and do it. So you signed to Trenchworth? No, I mean, we probably figure something out eventually, but I kind of want to, this time, I want to do something like what, like, you know what I'm saying? I know what it's like to be in a bad record deal, and I know what it's like to be in a good record deal. I know what it's like to become an artist, build an artist and shit, too. So it's like, I want to do something with me and them do, like, a partnership to where we helping people. Because like. that's what I want to do it now. At, at this point, it's not about me rapping for money. Mm -hmm. If anything, I'm spending the damn money to rap. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. More more so, I'm doing it because I want to show niggas that this shit is possible. Mm. That's the type of person I am, though. You know what I'm saying? That's why I said before this, I'm, be, I be, I'm starting to see. I can't click with a lot of people, but I'm... I do this shit to show people, like, hey, look, like, if I did it, you know what I'm saying, you could do it. Because mm -hmm. I don't feel like I'm super more special than anybody. No, you feel what I'm saying? I feel like, shit, if I can goddamn make it at my mama garage and be top 10 on the Billboard charts, nigga, you could do it, too. That's a fact. So, let's, <clears throat> you said something that was interesting, because, like, I think I touch on this a lot. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You say, you know, I'm, I'm no more special than nobody, mm -mm. right? You yeah. can do everything I did. Yeah, everything. But it's something about you that make it's something about you that's special. What do you think well, that is? I think just like me knowing like what it is, like me just being like me having just a little bit more confidence. I don't think it's that much special. Mm. That's just me. I don't think it's that much special. I just know who like, like, like it's just like if you be in a bad relationship or some shit, right? Mm -hmm. You with a bitch and she telling you you ain't this and you ain't that. Okay, you telling me I ain't this and I ain't that, but then I got these other five girls telling me that I'm goddamn cute and they like my vibe and they fucking with me. I'm going to just go off the people. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So if I got five telling me that I'm goddamn that nigga, and I got one that, that I so-called love telling me goddamn I ain't shit, I'm going to listen to this. Let me listen to this real quick. This shit It's like, oh, okay, cool. Goddamn, I am, you know. But I don't feel, I just don't feel like I'm just super special to how I got to where I'm at. I just work. So the, that work ethic, I mean, that's special. A lot of people know what it takes to be successful, but they're not doing it. So you, yeah. that work ethic is kind of special, though. It's because two nigg niggas is soft. Mm. It's too much pussy shit going on. Like, the world is so pussy right now. Like, nobody can't take, like, that's why I can't really click with niggas because, like, niggas don't want to hear the truth. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas, true. niggas, if you ain't work, if you ain't got no money, you lazy, nigga. Like, you feel me? I don't want to hear, oh, my dad died, my mom. I don't want to hear that. Like, everybody got an excuse why. 
My mm. mom died. I'm from the ghetto. I'm from the pro- my mom is from the projects, bro. My dad, my my, my dad was adopted. My mom is from the projects. My uncle's from the projects. My uncle just bought a private jet two weeks ago. Mm. You feel me? He's from the projects. Projects like twelve people in a three bedroom. I don't want to hear that. Like everybody got an excuse on how. Just go out there and get it. You feel mm-hmm. me? I told you I was in. Like I'm in Maryland, nigga. I'm in D.C., nigga. I ain't from that bitch. I'm driving my Honda to that bitch. I'm in the car for a week, getting iPhones. Whatever way I gotta get it, I'm gonna go get it. You feel me? Damn, bro. There's so many places to go now. Um, one thing you touched on, uh, I thought it was interesting, is is you said you know like if I'm in a relationship and my girl saying I'm not this, but I got five other girls who saying I am this. Yeah. Is uh, it kind of remind me of the internet though. Because mm. I think, like you know, they say if you live by the praise, you're gonna die by the uh, critiques. Or if you live by the you live by the comments, you'll die by the comments. Yeah, right? yeah. <clears throat> so in your in your analogy, it's like I get my confidence because these five people said um, that I'm good, right? There's one For person sure. said I'm not good. There's five people said I'm good. So sure. I'm a, I'm gonna listen to what the five people say. What happens when it flips? Because they not they not always on your side. It's always gonna be a time sure. where people where the tables turn and the niggas got. So much negative to say. Do you then start to believe what the majority got to say then? But she and then that's when you got to do like, you know what I'm saying, process of elimination. That's when you got to start thinking like, okay, cool. Like, that's when we go back to us talking about some niggas is pussy. Mm. If a lot of people got some negative, say, let's say 80% of my shit is negative. Mm-hmm. Maybe I need to look into what the f*** they saying instead of taking it like, oh, damn, it's f***ed up. You know what I'm saying? Right. But if... The hate is 20% and or the, the hate 30% and I'm still getting 70% of love, man. F- what they talking about? Mm. Yo, this episode is sponsored by The Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy, David Shines, man. He's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi-million dollar businesses, right? He created The Morning Meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now, listen, as an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and winging in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now... You got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I see you there. No, that's a but if a, if a nigga telling me like, that's just like if I got down, post a picture or some shit, and every comment is like, man, that shit was, that outfit was bad. And mm. then I called Julie and he said, yeah, it was bad. And then I called Keisha and she said, yeah, it was bad. It was bad. Mm. Some nigga be like, oh, you hate. See me, I'm just going to, you know what I'm saying? But it's the majority wins with me. Like, So what about... Damn, I'm just playing devil's advocate. What about the people want to out like the Kanye West of the world, right? Like the yeah. the 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 what's the nigga that had the white hair? The sciences they say was crazy. Um, Einstein. Einstein's of the world, yeah. right? They say like you gotta have some type of crazy in you when you people like yourself, right? People like the people yeah. we around, shit. Even people like me, like you gotta be. It gotta be some type of crazy in you for you to be like, man, I'm gonna be successful when everybody saying no. Right, when everybody's saying it's one way yeah. and you like, nah, it's the other way. You got to be like some type of delusional, yeah. Right, so what about in those times when everybody is saying, nah, 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 and you like, in your heart, it's like, nah, it is. And it's cool, y'all might not see it right now, but later on y'all will. Do you, you ever? Gotta, you got to make them be- a believer, mm. you know what I'm saying? Because like when I look at shit like, okay, like, you know what I'm saying, I came up, like what made me want to rap was looking at goddamn Young Thug and, and, and Rich Homie Kwan. Mm. You feel me? When they was rapping, I was motherfucking cleaning toilets and shit, you know what I'm saying? I was doing maintenance and shit, mm. type shit. So it's like, Okay, this nigga got a nose ring and blonde dreads, and this nigga ain't the average looking nigga. So it's like, shit, I'm seeing them niggas eventually. You know, I watched stuff from at the beginning. It was like niggas was talking crazy, and then they thing, you know, when noisy and shit was out. Mm-hmm. Now we got motherfucking articles and people coming to interview this nigga, and they want to know how is he who he is. Mm. You know what I'm saying? No, facts. And so it's like, with me, I'm more so like, Fuck what a nigga gotta say. Like I'm gonna make you believe, cause a lot of the shit I be wanting to do now, niggas don't believe me. And I had that nigga tell me no to everything. Like, like what? Shit, I got a clothing line. I asked like hella niggas, like, oh, what do you think I should do with clothing line? You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm like, okay, cool. I just posted this picture. I got thirty, thirty-five thousand. I got twenty-five thousand likes. So if I do the math, if I get ten of these motherfuckers to buy this shit, I can make fifteen thousand mm. dollars. That's my logic though. 
But what I got to understand is these niggas so slow, they ain't even thinking that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So why I'm going to ask your broke ass your opinion about it? You ain't finna tell me how to get some money. Some money, so get what I did. I started the clothing line, and I kept at it, making money. Mm. You know what it's saying? crazy because like even that you grinding and making money, you still kind of got that humility to you. Right? Like I think I, when I first met you, you was hopping out the car making a delivery Selling on Selling clothes. Foot. Yeah. You like, feel me? So it's like, and I'm me. So if I got 400,000 followers and this nigga met me outside mm -hmm. selling clothes, who, who you is, who the fuck, who the fuck you is? And that's what that's the and that's that's the type of nigga I am though. I be like that at the studio when I'm at Trish work. I might like, you know what I'm saying? Some of the producers I really think they talented. But then I was just telling one producer the other day, I'm like, hey bro, like, I feel, I feel that you go to the studio every night. But one thing about a rapper, when you get when you got on a hundred thousand dollars, two, three hundred thousand dollars worth of jewelry, but every nigga, we, we get beats. So it's no guarantee that I'm going to put that beat that I rapped on on my album. Mm. Why do that when you can go to YouTube? Niggas going to go on YouTube and get a beat. So feed the people, you know what I'm saying? Mm. He like, oh, I don't think I want to do that. That ain't part of my brand. Well, shit. You got niggas who going to get in out the mud? You got niggas who going, you know what I'm saying? Why not? I was just talking to uh, K-Cap about this. Like, right, we was saying how, like, eventually you get to a point where you feel like you're too good to do something. Not me. Right? Not really. But I mean, you're not accepting, you're not doing everything that you used to do. Right? Like, every, you're not taking every feature, you're not get, doing every gig. Like, yeah, shit yeah, had yeah, to change. yeah, 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 of course, that, yeah, of course, of course, of course. At what moment do you be like, all right, I can't do that? Or how do you measure the opportunity versus what I'm just not going to do? The, the opportunity versus the growth, right? Like, this is a gr good opportunity for me. Well, I, I grew past this. I don't got to do that no more. How do you measure it, that? It got to be some real fuck shit for me not to do it. That's how I feel. Because it's like this. Like, if a nigga say right now, if a nigga, if not call me right now and not say, hey, look, she just called me about some shit. Nigga want to do a feature with you, da, 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 they in Italy. You know what I'm saying? They might not have the, the budget for the feature. Mm -hmm. But they cool with somebody I'm cool with. But guess what? They talking about they want to do paid shows, 10 paid shows in Italy. Let's make it make sense. Nah, fine. Now, if it don't make no type of sense, that's when I don't do it. So, so if I don't do something, it's literally got to be some bullshit. Mm. Like, it literally, even if a nigga music bad, I ain't tripping. If not, say, somebody got 25000 10000 15000 for a feature right now, right? I'm the type of nigga, three-way me. I tell you, look, that I don't think that song is right. Let me come in and maybe I can help you write something. Mm. I'll still go get that paper, though. No, nah, facts. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm gonna go get that paper. So if I feel like if I don't do something, it gotta it, it had gotta to be, be or it's a headache. Okay, you know what I'm saying? If okay. it's a headache, but but I'm about that paper though. Like I'm gonna go get that motherfucking paper. Like let's get into a, a little bit of your story, man. So you you came up finesse and you call yourself what the first scam rapper? Yeah, I was the first. Yeah, one of the first scam rappers for sure. <laughs> That's some crazy ass shit, bro. Yeah, the fuck. It's like, what's the statutes of limitation to this? Because, like, you talk about this shit often. Like, you, you yeah, must have sure. did the time and it's done. Like, because I'm trying to get into this I mean, bag shit, real you quick. You can't get, you ain't going to get no time. That's why I don't even understand how niggas be, you feel me? You, you, like, if you're doing, like, credit card fraud, right? Yes, you're going to get some time. Like, one of my friends, old friends, went to jail and she, on a two, three million dollar indictment. Went to jail for like a year or two and she, ouch, living her life. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I seen somebody do time for, uh, for this. He did time for uh, a million dollars and uh, it was nine hundred thousand in uh, food stamp. We did like nine, nine, nine months. I don't know. I think it was a couple. It might have been a year or something. Yeah, they don't get no really no crazy time. But the thing is, with the iPhone shit, what are you? How am I breaking the law if I say, Jay, you broke, you broke right now? I'm gonna take you to AT and T. Mm -hmm. I'm you broke, so I'm gonna give you the money. Your credit good though. Get five phones. Bring me back the five phones. I give you goddamn. A thousand dollars for all the phones, or twelve hundred dollars for all the phones, and then I go I sell them to my plug. What did I do? What did I do illegal? You said you was gonna go in the store. First of all, it's illegal because the phone's not paid off. This is a couple things. Illegal. How? So let's say if you, let's say you broke <clears throat> mm -hmm. and you can't pay it off. No facts. Let's just go to collections, right? No facts. It was niggas like you to fuck the game up. Cause <laughs> I worked at a phone store. Niggas like you, fucking niggas like you worked at the phone store. I love y'all niggas. <laughs> I buy y'all niggas Christmas gifts and everything. <laughs> I worked at the phone store, bro. I remember that time, bro. Niggas coming in, 
buying all the motherfucking phones on a good credit. That's how you know a nigga finessing. They come in, they credit good. They like, I just want like five of them. Like, what color? I don't know. Just give me all. I'm like, the fuck? Like, no, I'm not selling you this fucking phone. I'm not selling you this now. Yeah. You fucking up. I'm getting chargebacks and shit now. I'm, yeah, I'm losing money off of you niggas. But shit, if you were smart, you would have flipped it. You would have been like, okay, cool. I know what you're doing, my nigga. Take my number. You feel mm -hmm. me? And then, goddamn, you would have made a nigga pay you on the back end. So well, you just make sure the charge back, goddamn, you make more money than the charge back. Back. Fuck it. Say less. Now we both get locked up. You not nobody <laughs> get nobody getting locked up. Cause what if that motherfucker was broke for real? I mean, I feel you. I mean, and I, they couldn't pay. People lose their phone and get a new service every day. Nah, facts. Nah, facts. All right, so we can talk about it clearly. All right, so you come up. How much money you think you was you was actually doing off the, the what, cell phones? The, the cell phones. Easy. Um. I think the most I made at one time, I think I made like, I think I made like forty five thousand in a week. Mm -hmm. That's in not a bad. Week. Yeah, I made like forty five thousand in a week. That's not too bad. That's great. Yeah, I feel rich, especially coming up, living in a hotel, living at the W, just doing my thing. Oh, so you you blew all your money? You I what? Hell yeah! I'm going to the mall every fucking day. Like <laughs> the fuck? That. Like I'm having bitches coming over there every day. I'm buying them bitches, giving them bitches like three four hundred dollars, give me food and shit. I, tell, I just told you. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? I went and bought me a raggedy ass car. That shit was like 15000 Like, yeah, yeah. The Honda? Shit. The Honda. Yeah, that was the Honda. I mean, over life, we gave you out of that. Yeah, that motherfucker was all right. All right, so you think, <laughs> you say, like, what What you think changed the most when it comes to, like, scamming from, like, now to back when you was doing it? It didn't got better. Mm. It didn't got better now. It didn't got to the point where like niggas is really smart now. I got I just talked to one of my boys like he's still doing the shit, but like the the shit he doing now so outrageous. I said, damn, niggas making sixty bands a day now. Niggas making a hundred bands a day. Oh, for one play. Off one play. That shit getting that shit getting nasty. It's crazy out here. I love it though. <laughs> he said I love it because it's like shit. <laughs> like look at the way the world is. But these niggas ain't having no money. You know what I'm saying? So if you could figure out you a way, so you could play. The craziest thing I think I heard was Money Man. He said, he said this in a song. The song is hot. What'd he say? He get you a laptop? <laughs> he was like, just get you a laptop. Like, your niggas is really talking about this shit. Yeah. This shit is insane. It's just so many different, it's so many different jewels. Cause like, even when Money Man doing that, like, that shit legal. Like, he doing like crypto and like, you know what I'm saying? He know about yeah, the crypto shit. He doing shit that's right. You know what I'm saying? He doing shit that's right. You know what but saying? before the doing shit that's right, I know niggas that was getting laptops. Talking about the what the shit the, the location the dark shit. Web. Yeah, that shit. Yeah, but like you gotta think about it. It's some niggas the same way you on your computer looking at other shit. And we live on the dark web. We live on that bitch. You feel what I'm saying? Like we can, you could buy anything from the dark web. I could buy anything, nigga. I can buy a nigga nigga what? Nigga, I can buy a nigga nigga two hundred dollars, nigga. I can get twenty five hundred social security numbers, nigga. Mm. Everything they said that, that the everything ones, clicking. They said the good ones cost a little bit more though. I ain't gonna lie. If you spend twenty five hundred and you get a whole bunch of them, and you find you somebody in the store, like what you were doing, living, working in the store, <laughs> I can send you 20, at least two gonna be good. I only need two. I just check it, for real. Yeah, that's your job, check it for me. I break you off. Like, it's, hey, J-Hill Podcast, we don't condone none of the, the scamming shit. This is the views of, <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is not the views of the J-Hill Podcast. Type shit. But nah, so okay, so this was the play, this is how you, you got lit. That's how I got my money, like, cause that's what that's why I got my confidence from. Mm. That's where I got my confidence from, cause I ain't gonna lie, scamming is no, it's not right, but like that's where I got my confidence from, cause I was in a relationship. You feel what I'm saying? And the girl used to be talking about me all crazy and shit. You know what I'm saying? Then I and then I got fired from my job too. Mm. So I'm like, damn, I'm broke. Shit, I'm goddamn. It was like it was February, February, March. Income tax came. I had got like two thousand dollars from my job. I said, shit, what I'm gonna do with this shit? You know what I'm saying? So I seen. Somebody that I know, they was he he was cool with the Migos, and I seen them getting the phones and shit. Mm -hmm. So then I was just like, okay, cool. Or whoever people with them was getting the phones and shit. And then I was just like, okay, cool. I'm finna try it. So I I found the girl, I took her in the store, got my first phone, and I was just like, shit. I was like, oh, this shit cool. But it still taught me grind though, cause got to be up early in the morning. After four o'clock, they're flagging everything, so you need to be there by noon. You need to have on some nice attire, nice shirt, because the person is, you know what I'm saying? If they feel like, you know how it is, if you, if you feel like you yeah. don't want to approve it, you could say no, mm -hmm. because you ain't trying to get your check. 
fucked up. No, facts. So I had to really make that shit a business. I had to turn that shit into a business. And then me turning it into a business, having to pick the people up, having to, that shit made me like real business. Then, you know, I fucked with the credit cards at one point too. So it's like, I just was, it just taught me how to hustle. Nigga, I'm always on that motherfucking phone working that bitch. You know what I'm saying? So it just taught me like, so discipline. To, like, to a young nigga that's like, I don't know, struggling out there, trying to get a bag, trying to come up. Would you suggest this shit even now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you can, like, nigga, still cash out for a phone. Like, I know somebody who, you know what I'm saying? Still you're cashing a, some out for them. You're bitches. a terrible influence, bro. But I mean, like, if a you're young nigga, bad. because I just feel like this, bro, if you a young, broke ass nigga, bro, you not living life for real. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, broke, broke niggas don't live like that. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I tell niggas that all the time. Like, broke niggas, I don't give a fuck. What a nigga say, like, you're not fucking no bad shit, broke. Like, yo, bitch, not bad. I want to see these, I want to see these free bitches. They I not fuck, I fuck bad. I fucked a couple bad bitches when I was broke. I bet they weren't bad. You thought they were bad. Nah, they was cool. I bet that's cap. Bro, I'm a, I'm, I was an ignorant nigga, too. I feel like niggas the same. Yeah. Niggas used to fuck girls just to uh, say they was fucking a bad joint. Niggas ain't even like these hoes. I'm but I don't think you was fucking no bad shit, son. You crazy. Son, man, I don't think you was fucking no bad you shit. You crazy, bro. It's levels to bad shit. That's what I'm saying. Are I you know- talking like... Like real bad, like what we think bad is. Like now. bad, like nigga, you know what? Like you, really bad. Nigga, you know your explorer page bad, nigga. You know them names, nigga. You know them fifteen, twenty names, nigga. You know what's bad, nigga. You know what's bad. Nigga. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Niggas be trying to play. Niggas be trying to play, nigga. You know, nigga. No, nah, I mean it was a couple. Of, but it's not. Nah. It, it's also it's, it's, you got bad on the explorer page, but you also got bad in your in your vicinity too. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, you no. got bad in your no, in no, your look, circumference. You got your top, look at my boy. He, you know. You got your 20 of them names, right? But then even your side of them names is not fucking no broke nigga. They not even looking your way. You know how I know that? Talk Cause one of my partners, he a broke ass nigga, right? <laughs> he ain't even my partner for real. I really don't even fuck with a nigga this like that. This nigga is A crazy. nigga that I be talking to me, right? <laughs> he be talking about bitches. And he was talking about he could fuck this bitch, fuck that bitch. I said, I bet she would not fuck you. You know what I'm saying? And... The bitches he be talking to and he show me their page, I be like, bro, that's nothing. She ain't bad. She down bad. She ain't even down bad. It's like <laughs> you got your regular cute girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? That's going to play and grow with you. And, you know, you can he run that. They're going to play and grow with you? Yo, you yeah. is crazy. And they're they going to run your car in the ground. You can run their car in the ground and shit. And you can use their debit card and shit. But then you got your boss bitch who about her shit. They got her own crib. We got her own credit. She got her own business. You think she finna let you come for sticky dick? But that's di- di- wait, wait. That's different though. Hold up. You moving the goalpost now? Uh-uh. Because the chicks that I mean, if we uh-uh. going, I, how? If we going to talk, you want to talk for real? Let's talk. Cool. The girls that we see on a explore page, that ain't that. That's the last person it I'm thinking on, about. It depends on your explore page. My explore page look different than your explore page. All right, now we we, right? move, we moving. We moving. I'm just saying, everybody's explore page is different. When you when you say the bad, you when you say the chick on the <laughs> explore on the explore page, my mind only see one type of chick on the explore page. What? The chicks with no clothes on, that's showing their ass, that's twerking and all. That's the only chick I see. But, okay, look, it's levels to that. Like you got your ain't no bad bitch, but we talk about doing that goofy shit. What? Showing that ass all naked, like that's that, all, all the bad bitches doing. No, it. no bitch, no so, girl with real they, motion doing. I'm sorry, I, I don't see it. So, so Rihanna is giving out a hundred thousand dollars for you to sh- show your ass. You, so you trying to tell me all the bad bitches ain't doing it because the girls I'm talking about in this top 15, 20, they show ass. I mean, I just got a different when 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 I'm saying when you said motion when you was like bitches that's getting to it. Yeah. I just don't see them doing no goofy shit like Shaking that. Shaking ass? I don't see them doing no. I mean, unless, you, I mean, unless that's your occupation, I guess. But I just don't see. I, we could drop names. Name the the, t- the top girls that y'all know on in, on Instagram. They that ass is being shown. The baddest ones that that, yeah, that man, ass. They is probably just living a different life though, because I ain't judging them. It's just one I'm thinking about. One and I'm not even being biased because my girl here in here with me. You know what I'm saying? I know my girl in that top fifteen. But let's say let's say somebody who people call bad. She in every song. Ruby Rose. So y'all ain't never seen Ruby O's rat ass? So it's cap because and guess what? She's top ten on OnlyFans making money. She's yeah. not fucking a broke nigga. Nah, facts. I right. don't look at when, when we talk about but again, when we talking about bad bitches and then we talk about girls with motion that's really doing that thing, not saying Ru- Ruby Rose not, you know what I'm saying? I probably sound ignorant, but I'm not saying she's not. Yeah. But that's not my first that's not my first thought of that. Of that's motion? Not, that's yeah, that's not my first thought of like, damn, like she getting to it, like she you know what I'm saying? That's not my first thought. This is my that's my opinion. That's that's my first thought. 
maybe that's my first thought just because I'm in that world to where I like I'm around them type of girls and I'm seeing like because like this like right like like don't get me wrong it's some hard hustling working girls right right but I just told you Rihanna giving a hundred two hundred thousand for you to wear lingerie what girl you know is making that in January we ain't talking a about lot. a year yeah they made that it's in slim, January it's slim to none it's a, it's Only a, fans, they making five mil. Who you know made five mil a year? Slim, name a name a name a girl right now. Your phone made five mil a year. Slim that you none. fucking on. I ain't so fucking on none. That's of you, motion. Got a girl too. That's motion. They, I don't care what they do for the motion. That's motion. That's motion. You get, you got that? I get I get it. I guess that's just not what I'm thinking. I got I got you though. But you, but you just saying that's not your type of girl. Not no more. Nah. Mm-mm. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. We, we, we agree on that. Yeah, that's not agree. everybody's type of girl. Like. You Them girls is bad for you. I just feel like they just not. No they they, good. they bad for you. They bad for you if y'all ain't got no like history. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Cause my girl do Savage Fenty and shit like that, but she ain't like she cool as fuck. You know what I'm saying? We ain't. You know what I'm saying? She be at the crib all day. Yeah, but your girl not out here going crazy. I mean, the most we see is probably her promoting your shit with y'all together in the picture. To be honest, you see a little Savage Fenty, you scroll down there, you see some ass. Yeah, I guess maybe I ain't really looking. Man, it might. Look, she like, she like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You go see yeah, some yeah. ass, like you go see some ass. I mean, I, see, but, I mean, man. I'm just, I'm thinking about the viral picture that y'all did, so I'm thinking about that. I ain't it was really, some ass in it. But that's what I'm saying. Y'all together though. I'm not, I'm not. You know what I'm saying? But I also got a girl too, so like I ain't. I'm saying I, I'm a nigga, so I see. You feel me? Yeah, but, for sure. Like yeah, we, I'm not we going niggas. down. I'm not, yeah. But yeah, but like you know what I'm saying, it's a little ass scene. Like, it's cool. You know, long that bag coming in, you ain't out there letting niggas see, see that shit. It's cool. Talk to me about that though. What? This relationship shit, man. Come on, man. For sure, for sure, for sure. What? I know you brought your girl in here, but I'm still going to ask you a question I want to ask you. I'm just for sure, saying. for sure. We're going to keep it 1,000. How, how much you milking this relationship for the bag? For the bag? Yeah. Nah. Not at all. So none of the little shoots that y'all are doing. Oh, yeah. We all oh, we're getting money for Come sure. That's marketing. Yeah. I'm talking about like, is that like why we ain't doing a relationship? Nah, I'm not. Nah, I'm not. I would hope not. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, we getting this crazy bag together for sure. I mean, since you did. Did you hear? I know you heard some crazy shit. What? I hear crazy shit all the time about this. What's the crazy shit you heard? Shit, I heard. I heard one. One crazy thing. I want to hear. What's the crazy thing you heard? Shit. One of my. One of my. One of my exes has said some shit like, "You using. You using her for a billboard for your shit." Mm. And I was just like, "Oh, okay. I mean, well, bitch, you need a billboard." You <laughs> I was about to say, "Bitch, come with you it. broke as hell, bitch. <laughs> Fuck you talking about broke ass." <laughs> Bitch. Yo, <laughs> Yo what she do to you? Bitch said that about <laughs> said, bitch. This, this bitch said that I just signed a three hundred and seventy five thousand dollar check from LA Reed. Bitch, you just fumbled the bag, bitch. <laughs> Broke ass on. Cra- These hoes crazy. What did she man. do to you? Is this your baby mother or Hell no, I don't even got one of them. I oh, just got a kid. I... <laughs> I just got a kid. I ain't got You might no be the mother. wildest nigga in the world right yeah, now. Yeah, I ain't got I ain't got that. Cause she need for, I remember I seen the interview was wildin' then. Always. I don't fuck with these hoes, man. I don't fuck with these hoes. My girl will tell you, I don't fuck with these hoes. It ain't even like me and her just got together. I don't fuck with these hoes. That's why I don't cheat. These hoes ain't nothing to me. Nah, I feel you. I, I don't even fuck with these hoes either. I don't bitch. fuck with they these hoes. They bad for you. I'm just trying to say, man. Like, hoes ain't these hoes ain't These hoes ain't These hoes ain't nothing. Yo, so. Nah, I, I definitely heard some crazy shit. What you heard? What I heard? Yeah. This shit was fake. Yeah, I, we heard that was on the phone too. Yeah, I heard it was like somebody was like, "We be going to two, two separate houses." Like, yeah, the fuck y'all good. talking about? It was crazy because I don't even. I'm not an industry nigga. Like, I'm on to come up. I'm trying to come up. So I don't even know how I heard this because I don't even like this. Out like my partner told us one of our clients took, called us and told us the same thing too. Like, I'm like, okay, that's kind of weird. Like, it's a fake relationship. What the fuck? Like, we in a fake relationship. Like, that makes no sense. Like, I've been, you know me, you know me and Keisha been cool like ten years. Like, yeah, no, I seen. So I'm just gonna be cool with you ten years and then just act like we in a relationship just for like for five years. Like, I mean, some niggas be in, jo- in cold careers for ten ain't, years. Ain't that deep? <laughs> ain't that deep? I got shit to do. I'm fucking with you. Like you know, say think about it. She a attractive girl. So if that if it was that fake, she could go get whoever. I go get whoever. You feel me? Yo. Yo. <laughs> what's the what's the what's the show she on? Power. Power. Yeah. You know, Power be adding a lot of crazy scenes in the show. For sure. So if she get on one, what I'ma say? That ain't gonna hurt your feelings. If she, if they say like, she I mean, got shit, it. I got feelings though. Hell yeah, that shit might, it might, it might hit me a little bit. It might hit me, but get what? That shit gonna kill me. But get what? 
<laughs> we gonna talk about it though, and she gonna tell me before it happened. People offer her roles for shit all the time. She lit, you feel me? So when she she gonna she gonna just tell me, hey, look, like you don't want me to do this. And luckily, she's already rich enough to the point she got money to the point where Keisha will say no. Mm. She know our relationship is worth, you know what I'm saying, a lot. So she will say no. What is it worth? Give me a number. Uh, our relationship, this shit yeah. priceless. Now what she gonna say? Yeah, it's a sex scene. It's power. I mean, you you might be la. We seen La La do it. Yeah, for sure. We seen La La do it. For sure. Give me a number. What you saying? Go ahead, babe. Do that sex scene. I don't get that deep into the number. She she'll just be like, it's a lot. She she know what a lot mean to me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Now that makes sense. Yo, I know we joking and shit like that. In this industry, right? Yeah. With so 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 much shit going on, it's it's uh so much temptation and shit like that. Tell me the importance of being in a faithful relationship, like on some real shit though. What's the importance of it? Yeah, like how- shit. It keep you it keep you disciplined for sure. I'm gonna keep using that word discipline because that's what you need to keep shit going. You know what I mm. mean? Because everybody can get up. You can you can fall on the bag, mm. but how you gonna keep the bag? If they give Jay Hill, they give your show. Okay, we give you some funding. We are gonna give you ten million. What you gonna do to keep? The money coming in. Mm. We just talked about. We literally just said that. Yeah. I think um, the relationship. I think especially being a man, a black man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, feel yeah. like um, they be trying it for sure. I'm gonna keep it on it. I feel like my faithfulness is my superpower. It is because a lot of niggas can't do that. that is a lot of niggas not me. Now I, I could walk and proudly say that. Yeah, for sure. I, 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 my, that's that. I know that's my superpower. Because mm. think about it, nigga. I'm in Atlanta. Everybody know me in Atlanta. Mm. Feel me? Especially in Atlanta, like shit. You know, y'all ain't got a picture, a video of me doing that yet. Look at what, like that's what's gonna make her be like, okay, nah, that's my nigga. How do you stay disciplined? How do you stay disciplined in the hardest times and the most times with the most temptation? Cause shit, before we even started work, work, work on dating and shit, like I just really was fed up with these hoes anyway. You I don't fuck with it. these hoes. Yeah, facts. Like I, I like, I be can't save some crazy shit, like calling the bitches shrimp, all that. I don't like these bitches for real. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I don't like. I just don't like these bitches, real. So it wasn't even like me. It wasn't. It, I can't even say. Oh, it was a pick between Keisha. This girl. It was no. This just was it. Mm. Now I'm saying like now though. Like when you in your relationship, you happily married, and you and you outside. You might be at the club. You might get a little drink. I don't know. And temptation is at an all time high. How do you stay disciplined? Is it just because I don't like these hoes? It ain't even that. It's just like uh, I don't give off a, a vibe like. Like I'm, I do, I am friendly. I give a friendly vibe, but I don't give a, a vibe like, oh yeah, I can go fuck Coca. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, hey, how are you? Hug that. I'm out. Like, you ain't no. I just, I don't know. I never had like I felt like, damn, I'm finna cheat. Like, my dick is fucking hard. I'm fucking. So it never was hard for you. <laughs> no. Something that came easy. It's just like whatever. Like, I feel like you got to be a real nut ass nigga to just really just be like, damn, my dick hard. I'm finna go fuck this bitch. Like, okay, why? It's a that, lot of nuts. It this. is. These niggas is yeah. But I ain't. It's, it's, it's you know. I ain't knocking it. However, they all play. Mm. Y'all, they girl might be cool. I, ain't I don't think nobody it. girl is cool, but I get it. It's the girl's cool, bro. I've heard that shit came out of girl mouth. Then they not monogamous. They just polyamorous. Ain't that how you say it? No, they not poly though. They just okay with a nigga fucking them over. They just like if the nigga get in the bag and he changed my life, shit, do what you want. As long as I don't find out. That's they look. I've heard that come out of bitch mouth like. Damn. A woman's mouth. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. I don't know about that one. I've heard it. Swear to God. So do you when you when you picking your friends, right? And we talked about characters. Homies or girls? No, your friends. homies. Your, your homies. guys. You yeah. got friends. Pause. I don't know. Whatever. When you when you got your homeboys, right? Mm-hmm. And they cheating on their woman, do you look at them different? You know it's crazy. I don't be wanting to sound like no goody two shoes, but I ain't got no friends that's on that type of time. I mean, like that's some my friend, like shit. yeah, like my friend, like Benny, he do my pictures and shit. He don't, unless, unless he live another life, he don't be fucking hoes like that all the time. He be shooting videos. You see him? He tired now. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at this nigga. You know I thought saying? he was going to say this. So think about that. Okay, so I got my cameraman. Look, boom. Then my, my other best friend, he's gay. Mm. So I don't want what he want. So shit, we woo. Okay. Mm, interesting. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't really have no problem, man. None of my friends ain't got no hoes. Like, it ain't, they ain't bringing no hoes around. Like, it's just. Mm. I like that. And man. then when I, and then I ain't going to lie. When a nigga come around me and they like to fuck bitches a lot and they own it, 
automatically I'm just like, man, nigga, you lame, nigga. You a lame ass nigga. Yeah. Nah, niggas be focused on the wrong shit. I'm always trying That's to That's why get they back. broke. Niggas are trying to get That's why these niggas broke as fuck, bro. Yeah, these right. niggas love bitches, bro. These niggas always in a bitch face, man. I don't want no bitch in my face, man. I want some paper, man. Facts. These <laughs> niggas stay in a whole face. I ain't in no whole face, man. Nigga, you ain't even got no haircut. You in a whole face. You ain't even got no new outfit. You in a whole face. You ain't even got no new socks and drawers. You in a whole face. Get, man, get out of the whole face. Lame, man. Duck ass, nigga. Nah, no cap. I like you niggas that. lame. I don't fuck with these niggas like that. Nah, niggas, niggas, niggas. Be, <laughs> For real, niggas I really don't fuck with to, niggas, man. Niggas be horny to death. Literally, like, your yeah, shit gonna get you killed. Horny right? can't even, <laughs> horny, this the thing, right? Let's say, let's say my sex was horrible. Mm -hmm. This my girl. She ain't finna spread it. You want to know why so many girls know these niggas' dick ain't good? Because y'all fuck so many hoes. <laughs> Stupid ass nigga. You done fucked a hundred hoes. So all the bitches in Atlanta know you got a little ass dick. So it's crazy. So basically what, what he's saying is, right? Niggas be weak. <laughs> First of all, where I'm from, like, you ain't trying to get no bad dick. I'm just, where I'm from, we, got, we, we care about it. Niggas got pride. Niggas got ego. So I ain't, try, I ain't trying to have that... Niggas got bad dick with no discretion. With no discretion. They that's just crazy. And, they, and they fucking a lot of bitches. The audacity. You feel me? You fucking a hundred hoes. Two hundred hoes. And then they all saying your dick little. That's crazy. They all saying you don't eat pussy. They all saying you can't eat pussy. That's crazy. Why not just stay with one girl and let her teach you how to eat some pussy? And y'all yeah. just keep y'all business to y'all. So. I got a little bit more pride than that. I'm gonna I'm go to YouTube or something. I'm going to pull her. I'm gonna nah, learn. I rather, I rather learn. I rather learn from the girl though. Nah, facts. You know what I'm saying? Because I would rather be like, shit. Let me know what ain't, what ain't right. You know what I'm saying? I feel like girls be scared. Well, maybe nowadays we we grown now. I feel like back in the day, girls be scared to tell you like, just tell me how to do that shit. Talk to me. Talk holler at me. I mean, I'm gonna tell you. You can tell me. You know what I'm saying? Because every girl can't just suck no dick. You got to tell them like, you know. Or even that's if they can, awkward. everybody want their dick suck different. I ain't gonna lie, that's an awkward position. How do you tell a girl to suck? How, like, how do you tell a girl how to suck your dick without, in a, like, without? <laughs> <laughs> like, how you taking it? You taking it? You taking it? How do you teach a girl to suck dick without doing the movements or or, or showing her? See why she doing it? You know, you you know. <laughs> I, I, you know what I, I know. know. You know, you know, I don't want to do the voice. Like, you know what it is. Like, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> when they hit a little move that work. Oh, so you just, you it's, it's all in the, in the, in the mode. It's all in the mode. Because like, I'm know. trying to figure out. So, so, so if, 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 if she ain't doing it right, I just got to be still. Like, just be still. Man, if they just, just <laughs> like, if they just don't do it right, you just got to be like, look, 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 stop, chill. So how do you tell her how to do it right? You know so crazy? I ain't never had no bitch who just had some super horrible head. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like if it was super horrible, I probably would be like, "Yo, like you gotta just stop." Not do it. Like I, I ain't gonna lie, if it's, if it's that bad at that point, I ain't telling you. But then I done had girls who, who head was mediocre. So if your head is mediocre, we you just fuck. So how do you? But how do you get it to be? You, you gonna tell her, babe? You gotta do this. You got two hands. You got most likely you're not gonna be my girl. Oh, all right, all right. Like if you can't suck dick, you can't be my main thing. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Like the pussy in the head supposed to be at least like the court. Of course, the pussy should be the best thing, but if the head should at least be like right there, like at least like right there. Can you can can a girl have bad pussy if you love her? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like if you love you a girl, I know. If you if you in love. Cap. You're just hitting it different. But some you of these hoes get the KY jelly. You gonna make it good. You gonna make the experience good if Man, you love it. Some of these hoes pussy stank. That's different. I ain't That's not that. different. It's a lot of stank pussy. So you trying to tell me you ain't never fuck at least you ain't never smell four stank pussies. Four at least four. Maybe I mean exactly. I Man, fuck maybe the club put a couple stank times. pussies all over. And then the condom stink. That shit don't smell good. Bro, yeah, that shit do smell funny. Yeah, so yeah. I mean, yeah, I would be lying. Like, yeah, like especially I, after the club. In that's what I'm trying to say. Club. It's no way if you a club nigga, you gonna you gonna run across some stinking pussy. Nah, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. I mean, and when you get older though, you when you know better, you do better. You be like, yeah, you gotta take a shower. Like, I'm talking about like 18, 19, 20. That's that's what you smell. Nowhere near 26, 27. That's when you Hell smell no. it. Yeah. Like, grown too. 
Grown yeah, too. I don't know. 26 bro, different. I ain't gonna lie, like, I ain't even gonna lie, like, age starting. I was with that. my girl at 26. Let me be careful. Age don't mean shit no more. Age don't mean 25. shit. You, you, you ain't never been to the club, right? And the bitch is on your body crazy. And she just on you, and she might just wanna fuck in the whip, or she might fuck you before you get to the. Exactly. Bro, you got some. Yo, the fuck a nigga in the car and your pussy stink? That's. Dirty. That's disrespectful. That's, that's it. Didn't happen. Bro. It didn't no. happen. That's the reason I'm so. Especially bro. in a Honda, we used to have a Honda Coupes. I'm from Baltimore. That's crazy. Like yeah. that's crazy. Don't <laughs> in the Honda Coupe, bro. I did some crazy things in the Honda Coupe, but the bad box is terrible. Especially, remember the the, the uh, Pontiacs? I don't know if y'all remember. The, I remember the, the Pontiac. The, the, yeah. the, the, the Pontiac Coupes. Uh, I had a Pontiac. Ooh. <laughs> Pitcher gives a bitch gives some bad box in a Pontiac Coupe. Oh. I done had some bad box. I done had some, bro, before I before I got in the relationship, bro, that's what made me be like, man, I'm finna do it. I'm finna lock this one down. Mm. I gotta lock this one down, like, cause it was just like I done had some I done had some bad pussy experiences. Like and then pussy started getting too easy for me. Nah, facts. Like when I got a chain, pussy got easy. Then Sin just say that. He was like, bro, like, I, got this I was chain. like, yo, whoa, hold on. Like I'm talking about like pussy start getting too easy. Like, I believe. Cause I ain't never had no chain. Oh but my God! It just, I was a, I was a college nigga. I was in fraternity. It was different. Oh, watch. Yeah, no nah, facts. But oh, I watch. didn't need none of that shit. It was just different. Oh, watch! I got. I'm telling you, I fucking. I'm telling you, bro. When I got a chain, that pussy started getting too easy. Nah, I believe. Like I'm talking about, it, it was scary easy. Like I'm gonna share something with you. Don't judge me, bro. I'm gonna be vulnerable. Don't judge me, bro. He looked at me like. Go ahead. It was so bad to the point where. I was not fucking girls when they came over. And you know you can never not fuck a bitch that won't fuck you, what you when mean? she come over. Huh? It was so bad that I didn't want, like, when girls came oh, over, because I, I would the, fall asleep. Oh, because the pussy was too yeah, I would just easy fall asleep. to get? Yeah, I would, I would fall asleep. Bro, it got bad. Bro, pussy, like, not, it's not the same. But you no know more. what happens when, do you know what happens when a girl want to fuck you and you don't fuck her? It's worse than a, and it's worse than a, yeah, a bad they dick talking charge. crazy. It's worse they, than they talking crazy. Now you gay, bitch. You because I don't want to fuck you. Like it's so like <laughs> na, now when nigga gay, like na, like bitch, get the fuck out of yeah, here. I ain't gonna lie, like I don't know, but I used to hit him. I fuck him real quick. Nah, I'll go to sleep. It just wouldn't be nothing. I used to go to sleep. <laughs> the pussy just well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't hit it right. I know, I know it's a lot of bitches out there probably like from back in the day that be like, man, I don't know how he got Keisha because that nigga shit was wet. It was. I, I give you a little three minutes. I'm out. Mm. I know I used to I used to treat them hoes crazy. Like three minutes, then go to the bathroom, be like, damn, I'm tired. What you finna do? <laughs> what you finna do? Or you text your man's like, yo, just call me and say you gotta. Oh, man, I did that so many times. <laughs> I get a bitch up out of there. Bitch, you got to go, ho. Yo, we gotta get the fuck out of here, bro. We about to. Get, this is crazy. How the fuck this shit go this far? Yo, um, what you 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 about to drop? Uh, January the thirteenth. Thirteenth for sure. Oh man, um, you got any special features on here? What you got going on? Like, tell me the industry stuff, man. Nah, we ain't even do no features. No, but that's good. What talk? Say what? What? Maybe. Let's get the yeah, industry stuff. Yeah, we might have. Yeah, we might have a remix to one song, but like, nah, we, we ain't fucking with no features. Up. Nah, I ain't even. I've been, I've been, just been on my. I've been on my. I've been on my me shit. Worry about me, man. Yeah. You ready to get back in the industry, man? You ready for this shit? I know it'd be weird sometimes. I'm just. I'm already so in it. It's just like I never could leave it alone because I'm already in it. Cause like you know, outside of this, I got a management company too where mm -hmm. we like manage artists. You feel me? So I got that going on. Then I do clothes. Like clothes. Every rapper want clothes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then my girl is who she is. So regardless, we got YouTube channel. She got almost 400 thousand subscribers. So regardless, I'm an influencer. Y'all yeah, doing the, the YouTube couple thing? Yeah, we've been doing it for like three years. Oh, that's hard. Yeah, 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 that's hard. That's hard. Yeah, so Damn, man. man. This industry shit, like, you like you feel comfortable now? Like, is is is, is Yeah, because I done made it. I done made Like, you know how you got to just, like, find your lane. Like, that's when I was uncomfortable when you, like, trying to, like, when you trying to, like, get in another nigga's lane. Yeah. Then it's like, that's just like if you got your podcast, but you trying to copy that podcast. It's like, it's never going to be. You feel good, but when you find your own little niche and you like, you know, I got my own talking points and shit. That's how it is with me. Like, I know my, I know my strengths. I know it's like everybody like my, what I got going on. With my girl, they like that. They fashion, they fuck with that. Mm -hmm. My motivational shit. I be saying whatever, mm -hmm. on it, and that's my thing. I stick to that. I stick to me, like my shit. I don't go outside that. My shit. But the arrival at your niche is what you're talking about. The arrival there had to be hard because even shit like me. 
I know my lane and I ain't doing no goofy shit, but it's mm-hmm. hard. Like, niggas love goofy shit. Niggas love the corny shit and I ain't rocking. So, like, getting to your niche without folding, that had to be hard, no? Yeah, it had to be hard when I, like, when, like, I had to figure out, like, how bad do I want what they got? Mm. And then when I finally got a taste of what they got, I said, oh, I don't want that. That's a fuck. That's what I had to do. I had to be like, damn, this what it's like to be here? Mm, let me back up, because this is weird. Yeah, you can have that. <laughs> you can have that. I'd rather go get this, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I've been talking about weirdos in the industry for, like, all week now. Um <laughs> What like like I, bro, bro? There's some weird niggas, bro. I swear to God, bro. You'll be a nigga. This industry is crazy, bro. This industry, bro. This industry is the, the weirdest shit I ever did in my life. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I done had a nigga call me who ain't never had a hit and tell me what I need to do to get a hit. Mm. Nigga ain't never had a hit. Like yeah, bro. You need to start dropping this. Nigga, you don't even have a song with a hundred thousand views. You talking to me? A nigga with almost. 200 th- I mean 200 million views But you can learn Something though Right now You can learn something From somebody that's If a nigga call you And His podcast Is getting 100 views Every time mm-hmm. And he say JL I ain't gonna lie You need to take them Bamboo signs And all that You need to make Your own liquor And put that in the back And da 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 And you need to do that And you need to stop using Them type of microphones And da 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 What you gonna say I mean, that's different. That's what that's what that's what that is. That's what that's like. Yeah, that's different. If like, Future called me a motherfucking Diddy, I'm gonna be all ears, nigga. I'm gonna be like, yeah, like, okay, cool. But nigga, not a nigga who ain't never seen the success of Dan his life. Never seen success in your life, and you don't work harder than me. Mm. Yeah, it's industry, man. I don't know, man. Like, I love having conversations like this. It's fun. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know what happens? What? The industry is even I was, let's say away from the people. Okay. Well, away from the people in the industry. Then you got the internet people. It just fucks it up because like say hypothetically we have a good conversation. Mm-hmm. And this is what makes interviews fucking whack nowadays. Cause niggas can't talk about nothing. Cause you we have a great ass conversation. Next thing you know, we post a clip, it go viral. Now niggas going crazy. Now person come there, I don't want to talk about this, I don't want to talk about that. It's like, oh my God. Like it's like you damned if you do, you damned if you don't in this motherfucker. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, cause I ain't got a podcast, but I don't, I don't know. I ain't but you make music. Part. It's certain certain things you can't say on on Twitter. It's certain things you can't do. You feel me? Like, it's certain things that you probably be scared of. No. Mm-mm. One thing, but I just keep it like you know what I'm saying. It's one thing. Like everything out this month, the LGBT community. Like you can't say nothing about them. What? Uh, what? Uh, woman? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all, but you can't say nothing about what, like, it's what you certain mean? things. What you mean? What I mean? Like, I get more. Into, <laughs> hey, no, like, dig, like, dig what the fuck you gonna say about like, a black dig, woman? Like, dig more. Hey, baby. What you mean? To, like, dig more into it. What the fuck you gonna say about a black woman on the internet? Nothing. You better shut the fuck up. Oh no, no, no. no that's go, what I'm saying. No, 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 no. Go to my page. I say shit. I talk shit now. Okay. Now I talk. Now me. Now that's the difference with me. <laughs> I say I say what the fuck I want to say. Yeah, now man. I ain't with all that. Now you go through my comments. Yeah, I get some crazy shit. But if I saying what I'm saying, I'm saying because I feel like I feel like it was some shit I seen when I posted a video one time about like women about what you deserve. You mm. get what you deserve. Yeah, yeah. I said shit. If you round this bitch, if a nigga take you to McDonald's, you look like you deserve McDonald's. Everybody not a roof, Chris. Bitch. Everybody ain't a. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody don't deserve that. Yeah, I got some comments, but shit, like. Shit, like, yeah, what your girl be saying about you? She's wilding like this. You she bitch. know, she knows us because we and her talk about it all the time. We talk about that, like, like we see somebody in a relationship, and the relationship not going like they want to, and it's like, <laughs> I'm just listen. I'm like just you know, I'm, you know your you relationship mean? not going the way you wanted to because you're not that type of bitch a nigga want to cuff anyway. You see what I'm saying? And bitches get mad about that. Like, yeah, you can't say that. I'm gonna say this shit. I don't give a fuck. Like, okay, you. Not that type of, of <laughs> but you're not that type of bitch. Like, don't, how you gonna ask for a car? Bitch, you didn't have a car when I met you, bitch. I mean, th- there's some truth in that. I get it. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I get it. There's some truth in that, but. Like, I'm not buying you nothing you can't buy yourself. So you don't feel like it's nothing on the internet that you just get. I mean, you say it was one thing that you. One you thing, I just, I just, I just, I just I <laughs> But like, other than Wait, that. Wait, what is that? What is that? <laughs> you don't have to talk about it. Just, what is it? <laughs> I told you what I was scared of. You can't tell me what you scared of. Just, it, it ain't even I'm scared of it. Cause I, I just don't address it because I know that like if I address that shit, we'll bleep it out. What time we at? What time we at? We'll bleep it out. 
I just say it just be no point of it be no point of addressing it because it's such a it's such a thing and then it's like something that like you know how something you ain't a superman if I talk about it it ain't gonna change you know what I'm saying like the thing with the women I feel like sometimes when I say what I say or if Keisha second it, it some things change I've seen some girls listen to what we say and be like damn maybe I'm the maybe y'all right you know yeah, what I'm saying yeah, yeah. like maybe I'm maybe I am not appealing to my man maybe I do need to do that like the fifty fifty conversation. People hate that. That com on any blog, you will have hella comments. But guess what? I still feel how I feel about it. My girls and say how she felt about it. Go, what? 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 What's the girl? Go really? Go really say how she felt about it, and everybody mad about it. Yeah. Just like when, bro, the internet sensitive. Yeah, they is. Like even when Go really said she want an assistant, they were going crazy. You seen that? Niggas said five hundred dollars. No, it was like twenty five hundred, right? No, it was like five hundred, right? Five fifty. Five fifty for what? How much? A, a week. That's cool, bro. You so, so you try? I I like this. I like this one. So you trying to tell me about? So she said what she said. So that means how much a month that'll be? Two bands a month. Yeah. So you trying to tell me you getting two bands a month, a free flight, free hotel, and access to Gorilla and Yo Gotti anytime you want? For somebody that's younger than me, for sure. Period. Yeah, I mean, if you are, I mean, I, I would assume that it's a young person position. But yeah, but you got so many people, and then they go back to what we talked about at the beginning. You got so many people that don't want to do that because y'all don't want to fucking work. Yeah. Y'all just want somebody to give y'all ten bands to, to do what? Pick my. She probably already got a stylist and shit. All she's saying is she wants you to grab the clothes. Maybe she don't feel like going downstairs, and maybe she's tired from a show. Go grab a motherfucking Starbucks or some shit. Like, damn. Nah, thanks. Niggas be lazy. I mean, I feel you. Yeah. The internet just sensitive as hell, bro. The internet is sensitive, but that's why I said like the industry at whole. Like, if it's not, if it's not the people, it's the fucking people on the internet. It's just like but that's why I said Wendy Williams. Look at her. She say what the fuck she want to say, and that's why she got to the top. Yeah, for sure. And that's but what, I, but know? I feel like a lot of that was gimmicks too, though. That's why I'm not. I'm just. It's certain things I ain't rocking for. I'm sorry. I, I'm not. I'm. I'm okay with not. If I ain't amongst the top, it is what it is. But I mean, you doing it though, because I ain't gonna lie. I was looking at some of your shit and like. A lot of your shit that had a lot of views is y'all talking about shit that motherfuckers don't want to touch on. Mm. So just stick to that. That shit could doing good. Cause like shit, I wouldn't even, you know what I'm saying? I'm in this bitch cause I like the platform. The platform nah. is fire cause y'all talking about some shit that niggas ain't, that's the type of conversation I want to get into. That's why I, this is the only podcast we done did. Nah, I appreciate it. But that. I want to do this cause I want to talk about shit that nigga, I know what clips going to go nigga. I want to mm. talk about that shit cause I want to say my opinion on why certain shit like. You know what I'm saying? I like that. I like to touch shit that people ain't gonna touch. Like I like to touch the hot stove. Like, mm. nah, I think yeah, we talk about a lot. We actually talk about. We talked about some crazy shit. shit. Some real we talked about a lot of shit. We talked about I said these bitches ain't free. A lot of shit. Niggas be mad. Them niggas gonna be mad about that one. Cause these niggas love to be nigga. What, that, what I see some somebody was like somebody tweeted and said y'all can't wait to not do nothing for a bitch. <laughs> That's what world we in now. Yeah. Nigga can't wait to not give a bitch nothing. Nigga can't wait to brag about not giving a bitch nothing. I I don't know how you feel about that, but I feel like that's nothing to brag about. To not give a bitch nothing? Yeah. That's not nothing. That's kind of weird, though. That's like, whack. I feel like I, mean, I work hard to give my bitch something. I'm sorry. Like, I work hard to, like, yeah, you like, feel niggas, me? Niggas is lame. Like, nigga, uh, they, they going to say that in the, when you drop this. They going to say, man, them simp ass Yeah, he is simp. That nigga is simp. Bro, I got shit on my, bro. I got so I got hella videos he on my He called me J Simpson then. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. Go from J Munch to J Simp. Now, I'm a simp. <laughs> Anthony Simpson. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, you I supposed got, to buy your girl some shit. I got a girl. Like, buy her some shit for sure. Like, because I, I want to see the free bitches. <laughs> I want to see them. Like, where are they at? I want to see what they look like. Because the, the, the free ones I've seen, they look horrible. They don't drive nothing nice. So where where are the free girls? I where the free pussy? Jay, where the free pussy? I don't know. Uh, what, what's the place everybody go for the pussy? I got a couple questions. Where the free pussy? The girls that's getting mad about the fifty fifty situations and all that shit like that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Where are the girls that your nigga pay for everything in your entire life? And he not beating another girl back out when you're not around. Where that's at? This nigga pay for your whole existence. And and, and show me. I, I don't know a girl that this nigga, I bet that nigga fucking another bitch and you probably get kicked out every three months. Wait, the free girls, ain't they in Columbia? 
forty dollars. That's forty dollars though. That's damn near free. You still paying? That's damn near free. But you paying? Forty dollars though, bro. You paying? When I say free girl, and like, these girls in the United States cost a couple. <laughs> They act like they co- cost a couple stacks. That's what they it act just depend like. on the, the, the neck, depend on the caliber of girl though. Yeah, you want a free girl go to Columbia. I mean, close. To if free. you want a free girl, just go get you a bitch that ain't got no morals and no nothing. What they used to do? Like, <laughs> no. Yeah, like yeah, no. Nah, we was on a trip and I, my somebody on the trip paid a bitch when we was in Mexico. I was like, wow. How much she cost in Mexico? I don't even know how much she paid. You know how much she cost. You know he told you. Don't lie to me. He didn't even tell me. Ah, don't lie. He didn't even tell me the price. Like, he didn't tell me the price. But you found out, though. That he fucked the bitch? No, you found out how much it was. No, I did. But it couldn't have been that like that, because he a cheap ass nigga. <laughs> Yo, you a terrible friend, bro. He, he ain't that cheap, but he cheap. <laughs> he buy what he want. You know what I mean? He buy what he want. He buy what he want. Y'all yeah, appreciate you, man. Let's get the fuck out of here, man. Uh, let sure. people know how to follow you and uh, support you and everything, At Copa man. Van Gogh. Spell it out for people, man. Come on. At C O C A V A N G O and Lover Boys Revenge dropping January the 13th. Make sure y'all go grab that. News Great, man. Too. Coco Van Gogh, J Hill, J Hill Podcast. Hey, we're on the charts this year. Oh, damn. The camera over there, too? That's, that's your, your shit right there. Oh, shit. This is my, my shit right here. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, we on the charts. We peaked at 191 top 200 podcasts. There's a million podcasts in the world. I'm doing this by myself. We in a motherfucking office space. Come on, man. Top 100. Top 100 this year, 2023. J Hill, J Hill Podcast is right. We out.